The Regional Aquatic Prioritization and Mapping Tool has recently been updated with additional data and functionality, as well as a new user interface. This video will review how to view the many data layers in the tool. To enter the tool, click the big green button on the main page. The Data tab is the default view in the tool. A set of regional priorities, developed by Ecotrust and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, are automatically loaded in the map. Each category button is a drop-down of viewable data. You can turn data on and off by clicking on the buttons in each drop-down menu. All categories except original source data and background maps contain data summarized to fourth field or sub-basin level HUX. These represent aggregated data as they are used in the prioritization function of the tool. The original source data menu shows the input data used to create these summarized layers. Input datasets include the locally endemic and widespread fish that are the target species of this prioritization tool, as well as the watershed factors which restrict priority setting, vulnerability to climate change, vulnerability to invasion, and watershed condition. The search function makes it easy to look for a specific data set like leopard dace or for general data. The background maps menu provides several data sets that may be helpful to the user in orienting themselves to the data, like ecoregions, aerial imagery, and additional base maps. We can explore this data further using other functions of the tool. The info button will display information on what the data layer is showing. In this case, median estimated population and the source of the data. By clicking on the legend tab, we can see that the darker the color, the higher the median estimated population. The viewer is also useful for exploring many data layers at once. First, we will turn off the data that we are currently viewing. Let's explore the vulnerability to climate change watershed factor. We'll turn on the vulnerability to climate change data layer under the watershed factor menu. And then we'll turn on the original source data. The three data sets that inform the vulnerability analysis are hydrologic regime change, projected temperature change, and wildfire risk. It's difficult to see these layers as they are currently displayed in the map. If we click on the active tab, we have many options for changing how we view them. We can move the layers around by clicking and dragging them. Let's put the planning units on top. We can turn them on and off by clicking on them. And we can change their opacity. When we're done, we can remove them from the active page by clicking on the X. We'll have to go back to the data tab to view that layer again. We can also call up the info button from this page. We hope that you will find this additional viewing functionality helpful in giving you a better understanding of the tool's prioritization approach and outcomes.